Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation from here? We are given x raised to power 12 plus x raised to power 8 equals to 8 to here. Then from here, we can factor x raised to power 4 out here, and this can give us x raised to power 4 times 3 that is 12 there then plus here we have x raised to power 4 times 2 that is 8 which is equal to 80 then from here we can group this as on love and this is x raised to power 4 then raised to power 3 then plus here we have x raised to power 4 then raised to power 2 equal to 80 then from what we have here we have x raised to the power 4 common so let the letter extend that so let y be equals to x raised to the power 4 then this equation here will become y cube plus y square that equals to 80 then let's take 80 to the left hand side this becomes y raised to power 3 plus y squared then minus 80 then equals to 0 from here then also we can write minus 80 as minus 64 minus 60 then this becomes y cube plus y squared minus 64 minus 16 then equals to 0 then from here we can write 64 as 4 raised to power 3 and 16 as 4 square then this gives us y cube plus y square then minus 4 raised to power 3 then multiply it three, 3 times then minus here we have 4 square that's 16 then equals to 0 then when we group this the power of 3 together we have y raised to power 3 then minus y raised to power 3 then we have plus y square minus 4 square then equals to 0 then from these two terms it follows from a cube minus b cube which is equals to a minus b then into bracket a square plus a b plus b square and also the second two terms here difference of two squares also follows from a square minus b square and here this gives us a plus b into bracket a minus b so when we apply this here for these first two terms this becomes y minus 4 then into bracket y square minus plus 4 times y that's 4y then plus 4 square which is 16 then plus for this last two terms we have y plus 4 then into bracket y minus 4 then equals to 0 then what we have now we have y minus 4 common here so when we factor that out this gives us y minus 4 then into bracket what we have here is we have y square plus 4y plus 16 then plus what is left here we have y plus 4 then close bracket which is equal to 0 then we can sum this up simplify and this gives us y minus 4 then into bracket we have y square plus here we have 5y then plus 20 which is equal to 0 here we have two possible cases here we have y minus 4 equals to 0 or we have y square plus 5y plus 20 equals to 0 then on this side this gives us y equals to 4 
In solving this, I will use y equals to minus b plus or minus square of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Here, a is 1, then b is 5, and c is 20. So, so here y now becomes minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square and minus 4 times 1 times 20 then over 2 times 1 then what we have here give us y equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of here we have 25 minus 80 then over 2 which gives us y equals to minus 5 plus or minus here we have square root of minus 65 over 2 and here we have minus 65 that is root 65i so which gives us y equals to minus 5 plus or minus root 65i over 2 and because of this, we have imaginary root here, which is complex. And uh, when we call, we represent a y as x raised to power 4. Since y is x raised to power 4, it means here, this cannot be imaginary. So, we have x raised to power 4 equals to minus 5 plus or minus root 65i over 2. So this side is real, this side is imaginary, so therefore we reject this side, this side rejected. Then from here, we have x, y is, y is equal to 4, and recall that y is x raised to power 4, which is equal to 4. Now, we can take the fourth root on both sides. That is, we multiply both sides by 1 over 4, and this 4 cancel out, and we have x now equal to 4 raised to the power 1 over 4. Or we can reduce this and say if it's x equals to here, we have 2 squared, that's 4, which is raised to the power 1 over 4. And since it's power multiplied, 2 here 1, 2 here 2, and this will reduce to x equals to 2 raised to the power 1 over 2. So this we have the value of x so for this given problem. Then to check if this satisfies the given problem, what we have which is x raised to the power 12 plus x raised to the power 8 equals to 80. From here this gives us 2 raised to the power half that's x and raised to the power 12 plus also 2 raised to the power half, which is raised to the power 8, is equal to 80. Then from here, this power multiplies 2 here 1, 2 here 6. Then this remains 2 raised to the power 6 plus also 2 here 1, 2 here 4, which is 2 raised to the power 4, is equal to 80. 2 raised to the power 6 here, 2 multiplies say 6 times, this is 64. Then plus also 3 raised to the power 4, that's 16. This is equal to 80. Then we have 64 plus 16, that's 80. This is equal to 80. Now the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And from here, we can say that x equals to 2 raised to the power half here, or root 2. Satisfies this given there. Okay. And thank you for joining us. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. We have another way of solving this. Don't hesitate to put it in the comment. And then, thank you. See you next class. And bye for now.